Good morning, Cougar fans. I'm Lucas Fowler alongside Coach Burks, and we want to welcome you back to another week of Cougar coverage on the Atlanta Central Sports Network. It's been a while, Coach. A lot of stuff going on yeah. last week, and I know a couple weeks ago we tried one, but then the sound didn't work, so we didn't end up posting. Right, yeah. It's been it's been a crazy spring, um, both in the school, and obviously the weather's been horrible for outdoor sports. Yeah, it's just uh, been flying by, too. Like, it's yeah, crazy. yeah, we're about done, so we've only got a couple more of these uh, left. Um, but you know, hopefully we get some stuff in this week. Um, not looking very good today, but hopefully the rest of the week maybe we can get some action. In. Yeah. So you want to kick it off with the high school sports for what's planned, but yeah. possibly not going yeah. to happen. Yeah. So yeah, if you're listening to this, uh, some of this stuff might change on the fly. Um, so high school baseball, we're obviously going to cancel the game today against Pawnee. There's and that one won't be rescheduled because no, it's not, not conference. Re- will not be rescheduled. Um, there's some standing water on the field in places I've never seen it. I could get it. I could get it. Yeah. Thanks for yeah. Us. Uh, tomorrow night we're supposed to host Pleasant Plains. Um, that's not going to happen on Tuesday. So we're either going to go to Pleasant Plains on Tuesday or play home on Wednesday. So we're kind of working on that. Um, Thursday we're scheduled to go to Astoria to play South Fulton. Probably not going to end up doing that due to their schedule conflicts. Um, but hopefully. So we'll keep you posted online. And then Friday we are having senior night um, against Mount Pulaski. Um, assuming the rain assuming holds the off. rain holds off but we'll do whatever we can to get that one in so uh, we got to do senior night we got to play that one conference game and we're running out of dates so we really need to get it in uh, yeah and i know we got one rescheduled for next week too yeah and we got a williamsville game next week so yeah and yeah like coach said you know senior night's got to happen so we'll just keep moving it back and see yep. it and just hopefully hopefully we'll get one in yeah it's, it's been crazy and i know every other school's in the same boat so we're all dropping games, and that's just the way it is sometimes when you have bad years. Yeah, so senior night on the, the boys' side, there's also senior night on the girls' side. Yeah, the girls' uh, softball. They're for our softball girls that go to uh, Midwest Central, which is Kylie Green, um, who's, who's been a really good player for them over the last three years. So they will honor her tomorrow night. Um, it's also their ulcer, ulcerative colitis night, so it's a big fundraiser. Um, the, one of their former coaches' wives um, passed away with that disease so they always kind of do a big thing to honor honor her memory um so it'd be cool so if you're you know not doing anything on tuesday night um drive over to manito and celebrate kylie and her accomplishments and get in on the fundraising act yeah and, and i went over and watched the watched the game and they, they look pretty good yeah they, they won good. they won that one and uh just to see uh people girls from both sides being able to contribute uh, yeah. on both ends whether that's in the field or hitting as well um it's just nice to see yeah and like i said uh, kylie's had an unbelievable career uh, i know she'll probably be uh all conference nominee uh, she's ha- had a huge year at the plate um maddie lowers freshman's getting some time and then obviously taylor kind is their their starting Holding shortstop when she's yeah. uh healthy so she'll be back next year so yeah um it's been going well they're winning some games. Now they just need to get some games in this week and get ready for regionals. Yeah, so off the diamond, we've got high school track still. Yeah, high school track. Um, Finishing it's up. It's crazy. Here. Even high school track has had some meets canceled, uh, which, you know, track usually runs in anything, but there's been some crazy weather. So uh, they're running the Sangamo Conference meet tomorrow night uh, on Tuesday. Uh, they had the Tomahawk Conference meet last week. Uh, I know Elena Carker uh, on the girls' side is, you know, one of our better runners had to scratch due to an injury. Uh, Chase Pasquetch won a couple couple races. Um, I know Brady McLaughlin threw the, threw the disc really well. Um, that's pretty good for a freshman. So um, tomorrow's gonna be a little tougher against to- uh, the Sangamo opponents. Um, but we're still got some we got some athletes that are kind of trending in the right direction. Uh, heading into sectionals with maybe a chance to to get to the state meet. Yeah, heading into sectionals is just right. I was getting ready to say you. We got a lot of people getting ready to you know yeah, pushing for, for sure. PRs, trying to get better every day because that's the goal. For sure. Make it state. Yeah, and that's kind of the same on the, the middle school side. Um, our one middle school thing going on is middle school track. Um, if you were in Mason City on Saturday, you probably were wondering what all the commotion was about. Um, that was our uh, annual Jimmy Newell Memorial event or invite. Uh, we had nine schools here. Um, our seventh grade boys team got second. And our eighth grade boys team actually won the meet. So 
um, pretty cool. You know, we handed out a lot of a lot of ribbons and plaques, and our eighth grade boys were able to bring it home. And I know they've got a lot of people with uh, state on their mind as well. Yeah, um, you know, I don't have the the sheet in front of me with all the results, um, but I know we've had some. Obviously, some eighth graders had some big performances. Yeah. Um, on the seventh grade side, uh, Kyraz, he's he's been running extremely well with some state championship type time so yeah that's he, something to follow with the long jump and high jump as well yeah yeah so, so we'll follow along with that um there's so many kids that are doing four events so yeah just good it, it's it's good it's we we got a big middle school track group and hopefully that yeah continues. we had people parked out front full back parking lot pre-k baseball yeah. line everything was all full. the all the subdivisions over right by here yep, yep yep back full. back everything it was crazy so uh you know that it, it was kind of a mess out there this year with construction but i know yeah. next year where we have the the nice venue and the nice concessions and restrooms, it'll be. I think it's going to be. That'd a, be nice. They can yeah. move concessions from that back thing. To exactly. The, the I, I think it'll eventually turn into one of the premier middle school track events, which will yeah, be. That'll cool. be nice for this area. Yep, yeah. definitely. Well, I think that wraps it up, Coach. That's it. Yeah. Thanks for sitting down with me again. For sure. It's come to an end, but getting, getting close. A couple more. Thank you for watching. Make sure to look out in future weeks. Hopefully, we'll we'll get on those weeks and uh, look out for more podcasts with myself and Mr. Burks right here on the Atlanta Central Sports Network.